Hello everyone, this is Stevio here, and we are in Wisconsin. Me and a fellow brethren out of the military used to always miss home and talk about our home life. And he used to always talk about his farm. He has one of the biggest farms in the county of Wisconsin. I'm not, I don't even know which county he is. He recently got out of the military to go back to the farm, which... As much as he talked about it, that is obviously his dream. I am on leave, a little break from the military right now, and he asked me, hey, you want to come down, check out the farm, and maybe help out a little bit? Because we used to always talk about how much we enjoyed it. And uh, Beans, you know, it's been such a long time, I was like, just jump to the opportunity. Is there a cow in, on the side of the road? Well, this is Wisconsin for you. One of them went away. Uh, I guess we still have the one cow on the side of the road. Yep, we uh, definitely are Wisconsin. Now we just have to figure out where little loss of where his farm is. I actually think I drove right by it or took the wrong turn or something like that. Yeah, this all looks very familiar. You could definitely tell, if you can't tell by all the silos, that this is dairy country. This is a very unique tractor here. I did not see that type of tractors usually in Nebraska. It must work. They're still using it after years and years. Alright, looks like we have an old tractor smoking in the field there. He must be chiseling. And uh, we got an old disc tractor running here. Uh, that's definitely another unique cab. You don't see that. Ooh, I think this, I think this is it. Or slow down. This guy, he's going way what is this about 12 mile an hour Ooh, wow wow me and him used to talk some smack against uh case ih and john deere talk back and forth the normal smack talking and everything but uh i see some john deere he has here he definitely has john deere implements hmm. is, i think this is our turn here Hmm. Got an old uh, dump truck there. Got some chisels. I don't know exactly where to park. Uh, I guess we'll park over here by their little uh, calf huts here. Hmm. There we go. This should be out of the way underneath the old pine tree. Yes, I brought my uh, Dirty Max today. Yeah. Let's see. He, w one thing we did agree on is General Motors products. He had, looks like he has a old Chevy. Not sure, this is a Cheyenne. Not sure what the year is. 70s, probably. Old uh, trailer on the back. There's his old Chevy dump grain truck there. That's a different looking Chevy across the street, that's for sure. Oh, well, 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 looky here. We got a few John Deers. We got one, two, three, two J Deers. So, wow, that is one impressive sprayer. What is this little thing back here? Now, this is unique. You don't see this every day. It's an old uh, international. I guess this is, uh, maybe he uses that to pull around his horse. Or cattle trailers maybe uh, another farm fresh international single axle grain truck there mm. huh. thought he said he would never own a Ford that sure does look like a Ford to me that is different maybe this must be uh, Maybe they're just uh, parking this for one of their buddies, but man, that is a pretty nice camper set up there. Hmm. Nice. Uh, 
Wow, they definitely have a lot of dairy cattle here. Look at, look at this, a giant V-Ripper here. Man, you need a big tractor for that. That is for sure. A Bobcat T870. That's a big Bobcat there. What is this, a five shank uh, Tiger II? Looks like another... They definitely have to do a lot of deep tillage, they said they did here. Just to make sure the ground was nice and thawed the next year for planting. They kind of had to uh, rip it up uh, so they get more of a drying surface or a drying, warming surface of the ground. That is one big, big implement there. And it looks like it's a John Deere to me. Hmm. They must have changed their mind. Pinion there. That's a J John Deere mowing deck there on a New Holland. 232. Hmm. Little skid steer. Wow, he definitely has a lot of cattle. Hopefully I get to feed some of them. It's been a while, so... A little uh, hay buster, grinder mixture, and a challenger. He didn't tell me he owned a challenger. That is news to me. Look at this little bow tie sitting over here. Hmm. Another nice little... Looks like he has a few... Wow. They definitely like the red. Got a GMC and some type of TRX. Wow. I didn't realize they had a ram on the yard. Never talked about the rams, that's for sure. Oh man, I'm pretty sure that's his big bud he used to always talk about. I do not see many people around here. A little uh, mulch it mowing deck there. Hydro. Yep, 1486. He did tell me about this tractor. It was one of his favorite tractors growing up. I don't know where Brad's at. This guy, the guy's name's Brad. He's he said he'd be around. A little, uh, another John Deere. Man, I I haven't been counting, but that's a lot. That's a lot of John Deere equipment and tractors. This is an old uh, haybine, a uh, twin knife, John Deere sickle mower. I know I call these sickle mowers. That's just because they have a sickle. I realize that uh, they're not exactly a sickle mower. Now this thing, I caught my eye. What is this? An 8850 John Deere. Looks like it says John Deere on the other side of the hood there too. That's trippy. Looks like he got some type of fertilizer applicator going here. Got a tank on the back. Fertilize. Wow. All right. Hopefully this corn is about ready to go. Wow, this is the tr the one of the harvesters he was ta always talked about. It's 9240. I didn't realize they put American flags on their extensions like that. That is kind of cool looking, to be honest. Pretty cool. Now this is a huge, huge corn head here. 16 rows. Looks like they have some type of guard there to make sure it doesn't fling back into the cab window. That would be cool. Hopefully I get to drive that thing. Another international service truck here. Looks like they're working on the big bud. Man, that's disappointing. I was hoping to drive this thing. That thing is cool. It is kind of cool how the cab and everything lifts up like that. Wow. Yep. That thing would be nice to drive. What do we got? An another 9240. This one doesn't have tracks. Looks like another 16 foot head. 30 inch spacing. 16 row. I know. People get mad at me, but we called it. 30 inch rows because they're 30 inches across rows. They're not a 30 row header, but I know I'm probably clear as mud. Clear as mud? Yeah, clear as mud to me too. But that is one giant auger spout. 
Holy cow. That's like two regular augers put out. Wow, is that long. Now that is impressive truck there. That is one nice Denali. What do we got up here on the, by the road? Oh wow, a 620. I remember, I remember when his dad bought this thing. I think it was this one, maybe it was that one. But uh, he used to talk about how much he was looking forward to driving this after he got out of the service because, wow. That is one high horsepower tractor. Okay, what do we got? We got a uh, Peterbilt, Peterbilt truck here. Wow, that is one giant, giant grain trailer on the back there. Yeah. Ooh. Now, they do like tinting their windows on all their tractors. So this is a CVT 340. Magnum. Wow. Love the storm grain cart. Hmm. This one. Whew. That's a good looking uh, quad track there. Oh, I didn't even realize this is one giant grain cart. Ooh, he's been holding out. He didn't tell me about this. Wow, is that big. I understand why they're pulling it with a quad track. Does he have anything on his beautiful looking shed here? Looks like they got some applicator on their Magnum 285. Huh. Yep. Ooh. Is this a uh, road track? It is. 470 Case IH road track with another JM grain cart. Talk about. I see a few more John Deere's here, but. What the heck? Is this? I thought it was a 7250 Case IH. Brand new. Wow. Definitely not as big as the uh, other uh, 90s. But, wow. He, he called me one time and said that because this, all the computers and everything like that, that this can almost outpick the 9240s. Almost. This is one heck of a chisel here. Wow, is that a big chisel. Used to talk about this thing. Look how many chisel shrinks that is. That would take some horsepower to pull. 25 foot or a 50 foot? Bet it's a 50 foot. Looks like a 50 foot. Looks like he has a DB60 Maxi Merge XP and a DV90. Wow. Wow, you talk about some uh, planting. So they say they plant all the corn with the DV90 here. And they plant all the soybeans with their uh, DV60. Hmm. Yep, them are a little bit narrow rows there, units. So I guess, yeah, you can kind of tell. These are 30-inch uh, spacings, and these look like they're 15, maybe 20. Uh, hopefully some of this corn is ready to go. Where is everyone at? All right, so uh, we got to drive one of the 9240s, not the one with Traxo. Wow, is this head big. That is one giant head. Am I going to fit through these? Got silage bales and a giant John Deere on one side. And uh, I don't want to poke one of them silage bales. Oh, this is hard. Oh, wow. I just barely fit. Whew. Yep. Okay. Uh, let me get up on this road. Wow. Yep. Definitely you gotta put the hazards on before I ended up. Look both ways. Ooh, I hope somebody's looking out for traffic, because wow, that is one a blind corner we got going on here. Oh man. This is a mess. Okay, looks like we can go right in here, hopefully. 
go. Shut that gnawing stuff off. Alright. Heads are running here. Start running along. Uh, we are picking corn. Yeah. Been a while. Uh, I think I'm going to pick up and go across here. Go right over here. This is definitely a unique shape field. I oh, oh, okay, yep. All right. This is kind of unique here, I guess. Wow. Picking away over here. Very spacious cab here. Looks like we're getting pretty good of bushels to the acre. This dry land corn here. Definitely got to be on your toes harvesting around the end rows of this field. Talk about constant turning. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is something blowing up? Uh oh. Uh, I think we are almost overloaded here. Uh, I think we could go a little bit farther. I think means it's been a while. Let's go until we hear the cap corn. That's the proper thing to do, right? Especially when you're doing headlands passes. You kind of have to wait until you get to the cap corn. Just give it. Because uh, you don't want to cut off a path too soon. Oh my goodness, i got to turn down that buzzer. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in Wisconsin.